and welcome back to the channel and on this video as I wanted to start off right here at the stop sign occasionally I'll get a message <clears throat> in YouTube in the comments section saying that I blow stop signs I don't stop which is correct now I sometimes stop, but I don't always stop. And I'm going to explain why I don't stop or don't always stop at stop signs. So first of all, it depends on where I'm at, which road I'm on. If the road is more heavily traveled, and it's a four-way stop and all, I'm going to stop. But if I'm in a residential area that has very few cars on the road at a time, and I can see that nobody's coming, I'll slow down and go through. And I think also the camera doesn't give you don't see the full uh, perspective that I see. I see all around me, you know, at least half of me right here. I can see far to my left, far to my right, whereas the camera isn't picking all that up. So it looks like I'm going right through a stop sign without looking or anything. Obviously, I'm looking before I go because otherwise, I don't know who's coming. Like right there, there's a lady coming. I'm stopping at the stop sign. So, I think you get a different view on the, on the video than you, than I am actually seeing. So, Obviously, I'm not going to blow right through a stop sign if somebody's coming. First of all, I don't want to harm myself. Secondly, I don't want to harm anybody else. So, um, And then, the other thing about the stop situation... The other thing about the stopping situation is, like up here, you'll see in just a second, I'm obviously going to stop. This is a busier area. There's some shopping uh, stores and stuff here. And so I'm definitely going to stop, as you can see. So, but the other thing about uh, not stopping versus stopping when you don't have to come to a complete stop if nobody's coming. And the reason for that being too is that in Oregon, there's a law that was from 2020 that says bicycles, which, which an e-bike is considered a bicycle. Now there can be, you can argue, you know, about, no, it's not, it's a moped or whatever, but really it's a bicycle until they change that law, an electric bike is considered a bicycle. So, but here in Oregon, they started that uh, in 2020, there's a the law, and I'll, uh, I'll leave a link in the descriptions and you can look at it for yourself. And look, I'm stopping right there, because this is a busier section here. Anyway, the law states that in the state of Oregon, and I think there's other states that also have this same law or something similar to it, it states that you treat the stop sign like a yield sign. So you slow down and you proceed with caution. So, and that's what I'm doing. I'm obviously, like I say, not gonna run a stop sign and take my chances on my life or harming anybody else. Why would I do that? I mean, I'm not foolish. 
I'm not crazy. Uh, so, but I, I get, I don't get a lot of comments about this, but every once in a while, I'll get a few comments and it's, I try to, uh, I mean, it's easier to do a video and show everybody rather than try to keep explaining it to each person individually. So I, I'm doing another video. I've done this before, but I'm doing another one now to talk about it. And I can tell you, I 100% stop at every traffic light. It's only stop signs like here, right now. I'm gonna slow down, it's a, nobody coming, I'm going. But at a, at a street light, traffic light, I'm 100% gonna stop. Even if there's nobody coming, I'm stopping. But here's the stop sign here. I'm gonna slow down. It's a three-way stop. There's nobody coming and off I go. But uh, let me know uh, where you live. If you have a similar type law or do you stop at every single stop sign? 100% or do you do a rolling stop or how do you do it I like I'm not this isn't an argument or anything I just wanted to explain to people why it looks like I'm blowing as they say stop signs and I got to mention this too okay as I'm slowing down because I can't see that's the other thing I want to mention this too that sometimes you can't see um, if I can't see either direction to my left or right, then I'm going to stop because sometimes there's hedges or fences or something in the way, could be a parked car or whatever. Uh, I'm going to stop because I can't see. Like up here, I'm going to stop because I can't see. There's houses right close. So this is one of the situations where you're going to see me stop and there's nobody coming. But I wanted to mention too about this, um, while we're on this topic of stopping, or in my case, lack thereof, um, how often do you see cars, or do you do it yourself, where you don't come to a complete stop at a stop sign? Now cars, have to stop it's it's a it's a law whereas the bike like i say at least in the state of oregon and i think there's other states too because when i looked before i remember seeing other states i'm not going to go looking and listing them all but hopefully you know your state laws where you are and uh if not go brush up on them and let me know in the description or in the uh, comments i should say below what your uh, state has for that. Do they have any rules, laws pertaining to uh, electric bicycle? But uh, many, many times I've seen cars slow down, even police cars, and they're supposed to be the, the law, and uh, they do it too, where they blow right through, like they will slow down like this. I'm coming to a stop here because I can't see at this see a lot of times you have to stop because you can't see I can't get a good look both sides but uh I've seen even police you think they would uphold the law to themselves but anyway I just wanted to talk a little bit about stopping it and this is another one where I'm going to stop because I can't see um I don't want to keep doing videos on stopping, but I thought it's time to do one more and let people know because obviously those people don't know the laws in the, this state 
and they obviously have not seen all my videos because if you watch them all you'd see that that's one of them now there's going to be a second one so now you know why i don't stop at stop signs and it's only stop signs So, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I explained good enough as to why I don't stop or don't always stop at stop signs. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button and join the uh, all the other folks who have been supporting the channel. And uh, we are growing, and I thank everyone for doing that, for supporting us. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified. So once again... Thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.